wear sunscreen. It's uh, an important song. And because of the sunscreen, we actually have the lyrics of the song up in the Clovia studio. Um, it's a song by Baz Lorman. First time I heard it was at my first workplace. And after I heard it, a colleague asked, had you never heard this song before? I said no. And every now and then I listen to this song. And the reason we put up the lyrics in the, uh, the studio is because it always has a, a good life message. Um, I definitely recommend listening to this song, but especially for people in their 20s, 30s who are still developing their life, who are still finding their way, there's always some piece of good advice in the song. And it's always relevant for anyone in, in any age group or in any life situation. Ciao, ciao, Italia. Do you have some ice cream? Um, Copo. And we ordered fully in Portuguese. Yes. Copo com mango e fruta de bosco, which I think is Italian though. And the same for Jonas, but uh, it's it's vanilla. And water, it's important to stay hydrated. Yes. We deserve it. But when you work on a Sunday, then at least you can have a mimosa and an ice cream. Exactly. I think that's the least you can do for yourself. So, the Sunday work day. Mm -hmm. We did not do much work. We did some work. So the day is still young. And we've been making a lot of videos. And that's part of the work at this point as well. We're discovering just like these people discovered the oceans. And we're also discovering what we still want to cover in videos, I think. Yes. Why did we at some point establish Glovio in Hungary? At a certain point, we wanted to become really an international company. And I've been doing some research into different countries and what the benefits could be uh, to establish a company. And certainly Central Eastern Europe looked very interesting because we knew someone, uh, my family and I, in Hungary who could help us establish the company. We went there on the first trip and I immediately liked the country itself uh, and certainly the city, Budapest. So we established a company there and initially it wasn't the idea of building a team there but then after two years or so in uh, 2015 we had our first Globions working for us in, uh, in Hungary and then 2016 I decided to move there as well and at that point it was kind of an idea to perhaps at some point establish an office there and uh, recruit more people in the team. About two years later we also established a company in Portugal and that was because we already had connection and um, had already established a company here before so we knew a bookkeeper, um, other people who could help us, people in the bank to establish the company. And at that point, uh, Clover became Hungarian Portuguese. Um, quickly started, or actually at that point, um, started having our first Portuguese colleagues. I had been traveling here every now and then, also to meet with the, the team. And at that point, uh, we also started being with Portugal. So at that time, we often met with Portuguese partners as well. And through these experiences, then quickly realized that Portugal is actually a very good country and Lisbon specifically is a good city to establish uh, a digital media business. In uh, 2021, late 2021, after Covid, we opened the Glovio studio in Alvalade, Lisbon. And since um, after Covid then, because there were some restrictions, um, we started having more people coming to the studio more often. And so about a month ago, uh, I moved here as well to uh, spend more time here in Lisbon and to be more present in the Clovio studio and also to uh, have more interns like Jonas and having other Clovians moving to Portugal. We just got breakfast <laughs> and today is a very big day. A lot Why? of celebrations. We have work bursaries, the birthday of best reviews and administrative professionals day, I believe is the name. We were a bit confused because last week was uh, management assistant day. And it's more celebrated in France, I believe. And um, I think it's 
So the third Wednesday of April is Administrative Professionals Day. So we just got a vase, um vaso, and um, after Portuguese class we'll be getting flowers for our Administrative Professional Paula. <laughs> having another coffee because we went to the flower shop and assumed that we would get the flowers done in say five ten minutes time but this is Portugal so here of course they ask you to go and have a coffee and wait for 20 minutes for the flowers to be ready but I'm sure the end result will be very nice so we're happy to have the coffee and then pick up the flowers. So another early coffee but also a pre-lunch uh, snack. Lunch shot, I think is the term indeed. So we got this is bacalhau, bowl de bacalhau I think or something, or stel de bacalhau and um, this is a chicken pastry. Today is Administrative Professionals Day. Today is? Administrative Professionals Day. We believe. It is? Yes. And last week I think it was management assistant day. <laughs> that was for me? Yes. Oh my gosh! Uh, of course, who else? Thank there you! you. Go. Oh, so nice! Pleasure. <laughs> oh my gosh! So beautiful! Yes, we're very happy with it. Thank you! I never Enjoy. got flowers! <laughs> really? No, flowers for my job. Oh, really? <laughs> Seriously? Yes! Oh my god, thank you. Last year it was Daniel who posted in the Teams chat Happy Administrative Professional Day. And it was also around this day, so. Um, oh my god. Because <laughs> I want the flowers next to me. <laughs> Instead of Daniel or me. Instead of Daniel. No Daniel this week. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture and send it to him and tell him, sorry Daniel, this week we need to move. <laughs> Yeah, replacements. 